Hey guys, I'm Leo Reinhardt, Guitar Maniac. And before I continue on today's topic, I would like to take a little time to thank a good friend of mine who helped me out on this 7th String Challenge project, an incredible musician and talented bass player from Italy, Alberto Rigoni. You can check this track as well as the others from the Duality album if you follow the link in the description below. Right now Alberto is working on his new solo album together with an incredible drummer Marco Miniman. Yes, the Marco Miniman who worked with Joseph Triani, Paul Gilbert, Steven Wilson and he actually auditioned for Dream Theater. And he needs a little bit of financial support, that's why he started uh, the crowdfunding campaign and if you like his music, feel free to support him financially or if you can't support him financially. So feel free to share this video all over the social networks. And we are going back to our main show. <laughs> All parts. The US American company from Texas, primarily known for making high quality replacement necks and bodies, mostly for Fender instruments. And they make their own hardware as well. I tried a couple of their items and I never had any problems with them. Recently I decided to make my very own high quality 7 string guitar and I wanted to make it with a 2 point non locking vibrato system. I came across uh, this item on the official All Parts homepage and it was only 35 US dollar, but unfortunately it was available only in the USA and I live in Germany, so the shipping costs would be too high and besides I had my problems with the payment methods. One friend of mine who lived in the USA three years ago wanted to help me, so he ordered this item from the All Parts and then he shipped it to me. After I received it, I realized that All Parts accidentally shipped their own item, and it was not worth it to ship it back from Germany to the USA, so I left this 7 string project for a while. Recently, uh, this item was offered for only 15 US dollar and I ordered it. Unfortunately, after I purchased it, I've got the email that this item is no longer available and all parts uh, is not doing this anymore. So I made a research if this item was available anywhere else and it was available at uh, another shop of the all parts, the All Parts Italia. Unfortunately, I don't speak Italian, so thanks to Alberto, he helped me to order this uh, vibrato system. So I received it, and the only question I could ask was, what the holy fuck is this? Well, take a look at the picture that was shown on the official All Parts homepage, and take a look at the item that was shipped to me. Well, this is the vintage vibrato system, only the 7 string version of this. And do you, do you know where the irony is? They shipped me exact the same item three years ago, as if they tried to sabotage my 7 string project. Well, I don't know if this uh, two point vibrato system actually existed or if they showed one thing in a picture and shipped another one. And there is a good reason why I hate those things. This one is attached to a guitar with the ordinary uh, wooden uh, screws. And if you take a look at the two-point vibrato system, 
You see, this kind of metal cylinder, well, if you try to make a height adjustment of the neck uh, of this vibrato plate, you don't wear out uh, wood uh, this fast as if you would do it with the original uh, wood screws. I don't know who the hell finds uh, this system actually good. Well, I can make it work. I like the non-locking vibrato systems and you may check my video about how to deal with this old school uh, vintage uh, straight vibrato type of system. I can make it work. I need uh, the gold screws for it. But still, this is a compromise that I want, uh, don't want to deal with. So, okay, if I use it, I have a couple of different problems. For example, this whammy bar doesn't fit the hole that it was supposed to go into. So, let's uh, take this whole system apart. And, as you can see, it works pretty good if you try to screw it di directly in this uh, sustain block. They actually forgot to drill the hole that matches uh, the diameter of this whammy bar. Seriously, guys, what the fuck is this? It's not like this item is kind of low quality. It looks good as if you actually try to put mine to uh, bring a high quality product on the market, but it's not my job to drill uh, the bigger hole in this uh, base plate. It's your job. Seriously. This is a big minus for it. And the second thing, take a look at these intonation adjustment screws. They are so long that they actually cover the hole where the string should go through. Well, thanks God. I can replace it with the much uh, shorter screws, but then again, this is not my job, this is your job. You should take a serious quality uh, look at your quality control. And all parts or management from all parts. If you look at this video, Try to contact me, do you actually have this original item that I wanted or did you make it? Is it still available? Could you please ship it to me? I don't know, maybe I use it for my 7 string project or I'll try to find out if there are a couple of uh, uh, the two-point vibrato systems on the market. But still, all parts, seriously, take a good look at uh, your quality control. And at what items do you actually deliver? For Christ's sake. I guess that's all for today. Stay tuned for the news on this 7-string uh, project.